Hello there. This is a short video about a couple of items that we've recently added to our product range. These two Rivnut tools. You can find out more about them in our issue 30 catalogue on page 317. This one is KAKIT which comes in a blow moulded box with four mandrels and a selection of aluminium rib nuts. And this one is part number KASWIV, which is a swivel headed rib nut tool. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them. Both of these tools are superbly made with die cast aluminium handles, uh, machine billet aluminium threaded adjuster. Um, all the mandrels are hardened steel and the nose pieces are plated steel and there's even a, a little spanner tucked into a little pocket in the handle there. So what is a rivnut? Well a rivnut is an insert that using one of these tools you can install into thin sheet metal to give you a deep strong thread for fixings. Rivnuts for these tools are available in M3, M4, M5 and M6 sizes in aluminium and steel. And both of those have a flat head version which leaves the rivnut slightly proud of the surface or a countersunk version which if you countersink your panel will sit flush with the surface. So how do we install a rivnut? I'm going to put one of these M6 rivnuts in this sheet of 1mm aluminium. First thing to do is to drill the hole. And measure the diameter of the rivnut. This M6 one is measuring 8.8. .8. So we're looking to, to drill a hole just over 8.8, .8, probably 9mm in the aluminium. I've drilled two here. I've used a step drill and it cuts a very clean, accurate hole. Next thing we need to do is make sure that the right mandrel and nozzle is in the rivnut tool. At the moment it's got the M3 nozzle and the M3 mandrel in there. So simple, we just pull the M3 mandrel out, take out the M3 nozzle, Put the M6 nozzle in, and simply push in the M6 mandrel. Easy. I'm going to screw the rivnut onto the mandrel until there's just a thread or two poking through, and then I'm going to tighten the adjuster. until the rivnut touches the nose there and it's ready to go there's our panel now it's important to always keep the tool dead square in both directions with the work face because the mandrels are made from hardened steel and they're quite easily broken if you lean the tool over at an angle and try to pull the rib nut. So here we go, we squeeze the handles together while keeping the tool as perpendicular as possible and then we unscrew the mandrel from the rib nut And there it is. That's not going to move. And it's ready for a P clip or a relay or even fixing another panel to.
Of course we stock several other ribnut kits from this budget one right through to this heavy duty industrial one which will pull ribnuts up to M12. You can find out details of them all in our catalogue and on our online shop. Thanks for watching.